Hi there, I'm Rhonda and I help makers turn their digital designs into income. On my channel, you'll get quick tutorials, cool tools, and simple strategies to grow your digital product business. If you want daily AI prompts, trend tips, and a fun community that gets it, join us in our AI Profit Society. I left a link in the description. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss a thing. And now, without any further delay, let's get into today's video. Hi there. Uh, I had somebody ask me in a comment uh, how I would create a Canva frame if I only wanted to change one part of the image, okay? Uh, so I thought I'd do a real quick video on that. It's super easy and it only really takes a couple minutes. Um, she had specifically asked about what if I had a woman uh, with an Afro hairdo and I only wanted to change the Afro. So here's one I did real quick. I took this uh, image here from Canva and just changed the hair. So now you can do whatever you want to with her Afro do, okay? So that's what we're gonna do today. I'm gonna show you how you can take just a single part of the image and turn it into a frame, leaving everything else intact, all right? So let me get rid of this one here quick and we will look over here now i'm going to go and search she had specifically asked for you know a woman with an afro so that's what we're going to do we're going to look for a woman with afro and we're going to do graphics and i'm going to set this to free just in case anybody watching only has a free account i don't want to be using uh, pro elements that you might not be able to use okay so this is the image that I already showed you. So let's look through here and maybe grab a different one. Um, let's do, no, that one's pretty plain. That's just black and white anyway. Um, let's, let's take this one here, okay? We've got the side view of this woman with her you know, Afro do there. So we're going to use this and all we're going to change is her hairdo. All right. Everything else is going to stay the same. Her hair will just be different. So we're going to go over here to share, download, and we don't even have to save this as a transparent PNG. Okay. That way, if you have a free account, you can do this too. And then we're going to hit download. And it's going to save this for us. And I'm going to do woman two. And then I am just going to go up here to my download history and I'm going to grab woman two. And I'm going to drag it to my photo P. All right. And photo P is a free uh, online image editor. It's basically a free version of Photoshop. So, you know, like I said, it's completely free. So you, you can use that to do this second part. So we have this in Photo P. The first thing I'm going to do is click on the background and hit delete. I'm getting rid of that background. All right. Now, once I've done that, I am going to duplicate this layer. So I selected my background, right click, duplicate layer. And we're going to be working on layer one. We're going to leave the background just the way it is. So make sure you have layer one selected. Make sure your magic wand tool is selected. And then just select her hair. Okay. Once that's done, right click, make work path. And now you'll see a little blue outline all around her hairdo, right? We're going to go to layer vector mask current path all right and you can see here over on the right that you have this gray area just over her hairdo and that's showing you that you have selected and now there is a vector mask over that section so from there we just go to file export as pdf Saving this as a PDF, woman two, and save. And now I'm going to go up here to my download, my saved, recent saved from Photop. I'm going to grab woman two PDF, and I'm going to drag that back in here to my projects 
upload it to my Canva projects. And once it's done, I'll select it. And now you see all we have to do is select her hair, hit delete, and now her hair is in fact a frame that we can pop anything into that we want. So no matter what you want to put in there, you can. There we've got gold glitter. Um, we've got the purple. You can even put a little video in there if you want to. All right. So that's how you take just one part of an image and make it a frame and leave the rest. So you still get the same colors and everything, but you can swap out her hair. Whoops just that easily with any image you want. Alrighty, so I hope you guys found that helpful. If you have any questions, you can drop them in the comments. And I just used Canva Elements for this, but you can create your own images and upload them and do the same thing with them. Alrighty, so I hope you guys have a great day. And like I said, if you have any questions, drop them in the comments, let me know. And be sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.